A consortium of companies has been chosen as the preferred bidder for the proposed integrated solid waste management system to be put in place in the Cayman Islands. The new system will replace the current landfill in Georgetown, which is nearing the end of its life. It is expected to be processed and divert up to 95% of waste from being landfilled right here in the future. It is to be operated as a public-private partnership with the successful consortium awarded the contract on a design, build, finance, operate and maintain basis. Well, the current landfills, when the new system is in place, will all be closed and remediated. So remediation means uh, we'll cover them, uh, replant them. They'll probably be turned back into some kind of park or recreational use. And uh, we'll build new facilities, uh, which will process waste. And then uh, we'll uh, need to build a smaller, much smaller, uh, landfill to handle the residual ash that's produced from the facilities. I'm excited. Um, I can tell you from many governments over many years, even as elected in 2009 through 13, we've been talking about finding a solution for the waste management problem we have in the Cayman Islands. And I'm happy that we found a preferred bidder and uh, we're ready to move on. So the next stage in the process is to negotiate and to finalize some of the finer details around the proposed project and hopefully next summer we'll have that final contract and be able to move forward. The consortium led by DART was identified after careful consideration by the ISWIMS project team as a preferred bidder because its proposal best follows the recommendations in the outline business case and offers the greatest value for money. Now the integrated solid waste management system will include the closure cap capping and remediation of the current landfills on Grand Cayman and the sister islands with recycling, composting and a waste to energy approach at the heart of the new operations. You can read the full, uh, full press release online at gov.ky. Again, that's gov.ky.